to get the sail off, I gotta put this. Okay, so you put your you put your sheet in that hook right here. Okay. In that little hook, mm -hmm. right? Right now your your furler is all the way unfurled. So to get the sail out, you pull on your sheet and you release. Well, you release that first and then pull on your sheet. So whatever sail goes out, it actually rolls up that line. So you can, whatever the sail is out, so you can pull on it and roll it back up. Okay. You know? and, you, and you hit this? And that's your, yeah, that's your sheet. It goes, it goes right here in that hole. That little hole. Right Got there. It. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you can put them forward or put them aft. And then they just kind of, they have a little tabs over here. And they go in this little holes and twist clockwise. And that's what secures them in place. And then you put the Velcro back on it. Those hook up right here. One. And they adjust back, right? Two. Yes, and they have a little... Right. The little... Uh, uh, Which seat do you use when you do it by yourself? Does it matter? Excuse me? Which do you use, use the seat to use it normally do if you sail by I like, yourself? I like from... The I back? like steer from the back. Yeah. They go in whatever those... Uh, wherever the little paddles are out. So right. <laughs> This bag is for these arms, so like the pontoons are come off, and you can use it as a regular kayak. Mm -hmm. But do not try to sail it without pontoons. No, no, wouldn't do it. Oars are for when you, again, for when you kayak. You know, like you can't. Uh, once you have the pontoons out, you can't. Okay. Yeah, they, already... they have whatever you put them in. You put them in a certain way, right? Uh, right. So like those supposed to face. Half, and the, the hard part's supposed to face forward but if you don't use them and you're just sailing and you're in shallow waters because uh, they stick out a good two feet uh, stick down so there's a little cord over here and you you pull on one of them it's like a break like you, put, you put cord on on that pedal and it keeps them from sticking out that much they're right. like fold them to the to the right. pole that way it doesn't like if you hit you get, something you won't damage those right well you know i want to beach it or something <clears throat> yeah uh, i usually when i beach the kayak i just pull them out okay like right if i'm still in like three feet of water and i'm sailing i just pull them out they, they're really easy to come and i just usually throw them on the pontoon the center board drop is right there yes that's your center okay get it from the second time because they go in a certain Okay, so the pocket, the pocket goes on the top, and then when it's in the water, we're gonna open up the pontoons. This right here goes right over that knuckle right here, and the same on the other side. The pocket's supposed to be facing up. Okay. So, so but before you pull it down, you release that because if you forget, you'll be working against yourself. You know, you release that, and then from the and other side. The other oh, the other side, you pull it down. So, and it has a set of jaws which grabs that line. Uh, I like to have it released in case I do hit something. It will just kick the rudder up instead okay. of damaging.
actually, yeah, I removed it because I, you had it. I, yeah, I got it kind of put up for going on the road. Right. But you can just roll them up and fold it. It'll be, it'll still be on there. Okay. Yeah, you just, you just roll them up like, like this. Yeah. Just roll them up. Roll it around the bar. The arm, and, and that's it. You can fold it just fine. Okay. And those. Now these pedals, <laughs> you you can pedal forward, it will not go in reverse. <laughs> so you kind of have to push oh, yourself and, okay. and make sure you have a way out going forward. Yeah. Because it would not go in reverse. And again, as as I, as I said earlier, you know, like you're you're concerned about taking your sail out. The latch is right here. You open it up and just pull it out. Yeah. And then you just lay it down. On the, you can lay it down on the on yeah. the side on the pontoon or whatever yeah and then put it back in That's not hard at all. how much does that weigh to you i mean to him, i to have him. a hunch like for a him fishing, it's like pretty a big fishing pole oh okay <laughs> well Beach we'll just drop in there and it'll latch out but that's the latch that holds it in place so it will not okay out. said <laughs> your sail can be controlled from from either seat right and this okay. is it and uh yeah. this is it right there yes and you, know, well, you want to make sure that this line, you're not sitting on it, or it actually goes back. Oh, you see, we got it trapped under the seat. Okay. So it should go on the, on the outside of your seat. There. So that rope needs to be free. Right. Yes. On and then you both have sides. your block back there. Uh -huh. And then two lines come out. One goes to this one, uh -huh. and then the other one goes to this one. Right here. Okay. Okay. Now you hook it up. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to release it to give me some. There you go. Yeah. So you hook it up right here. Do not forget to take off that little okay. that, uh, blue line because I did and I was mad at it. Why the sail was not rolled <laughs> out? You know, because that's what keeps it from when you ship it. Yeah. It just keeps it from. Unraveling oh, yeah. with you when you want to roll it up, you can pull it up from there. Oh, that's <laughs> multiple choice. <laughs> Pedal yeah. out of here, baby. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Got the mast sail cover, two oars, two drives, Cheers. kayak cover. Mint condition. Toolbox or tackle box. This is a carrier. You can pull it behind a bicycle if you want. More bags. Another drive. And uh, sailboat. 